welcome student it's great to be here again on another teaching and learning process on economics i am Kolade abiola your instructor for today you'll be listening to teaching on supply theory supply is a fundamental economic concept and through this teaching as a learner you will understand how supply can be integrated in your daily action at the end of the lesson the student will be able to define supply and state the law of supply two define supply schedule and mention types three form a supply schedule table four define supply curve and mention types five to draw types of supply curve and finally define abnormal supply curve meaning of supply supply is the quantity of of any commodity that producers are able and willing to offer for sale at a alternative prices over a given period of time. Laws of supply. In law of supply, there is a direct relationship between price and quantity. The law says that the higher the price of a commodity, the higher the quantity supply. Two, the lower the price of a commodity, the lower the quantity supplied. Meaning of supply schedule. This is a table showing the various prices and quantities of a commodity which sellers are willing to offer for sale at a given period of time. It can be an individual supply schedule to market supply schedule meaning of individual supply schedule this is a table which shows the different quantities of a commodity which a producer offer for sale at various prices at a particular time it shows the various prices and the quantities of good offer for sale we are going to use the law of supply to form individual supply schedule table. And we are going to do it together. So students, I want you to get your ruler and your pencil. So write price in one column, then rule and write quantity supply kg of rice so um, in the price column we are going to use prices one to six i want you to quickly put down that have you done that so in the column of quantity supply it will be at price one it will be 30 price two 60 price three 90 price 4 120 price 5 150 price 6 200 have you quickly done that so let's observe what you have written down of that width for me and you can see that in that table there are certain things happening there one there's a relationship between your price and the quantity of rice supplied. And two, we can see that as your price increases, your quantity supplied also increases. We want to look at meaning of market supply schedule. This is a table that show the various quantities of goods supplied by all suppliers of a commodity at a given price and at a particular time. It is obtained by adding all the quantities supplied at each prices. In market supply schedule, we have more than one seller. It can be two, three, four, five, but in our, for our discussion, we are going to use three sellers. So we have a column for price. We have a column for Mr. Jide, for Ms. Ola, Ms. Tokwe, and quantity supplied. So our prices will be from price one to five.
welcome students back from the short break. We shall continue our discussion on market supply schedule. We want to form a table. From our previous discussion, we have seen that our prices is from Miss 1 to 5. We have Mr. Jude, Ola, Ms. Tokpe, and total quantity. Price 1, 20, 40, 30. Price 2, 40, 60, 50. Price 3, 60, 80, 60. Price 4, 80, 90, 70. Price 5, 100, 180. We want to calculate our total quantity supply. It is obtained by adding all the quantities supplied at each price. Price 1 to be 20 plus 40 plus 30 equals 90. Price 2, 40 plus 60 plus 50 equals 150. Price 3, 60 plus 80 plus 60 equals 200. Price 4, 240. Price 5, 280. From this table, it shows that as price increases, the quantity supplied increases. Supply curve is a graphical representation of information contained in supply schedule. It is upward sloping from left to right. It has a positive slope. It can be an individual supply curve to market supply curve, individual supply curve. It is the graph of a supply schedule showing the quantity of a commodity a producer is able and willing to offer for sale at alternative prices over a given period or time. Important things to note when drawing supply curve. One, title. Check your table to look for the title and write it down. Two, draw your vertical and your horizontal axis. Your vertical is your price, while your horizontal is your quantity supply. Appropriate use of scale. Go into your table, study to ta the table, and know the appropriate units to use. Use of coordinate points to plot your supply curve and label your diagram. Use your hand to trace your coordinate points. We are going to look at that table on individual supply schedule. We can see from that table our prices is price one, Quantity supplied is 30 to 200. We are going to plot that table together and we will draw. Draw your vertical and your horizontal line. Your vertical is your price. Your horizontal is your quantity. So the price will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The unit will be 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180. At price 1, we are going to use our coordinate points now. That will be 30. Use a star, that is a coordinate point. At price 2, which is 60, also use a star. Then you will continue till price 6. At the end, you will now put SS, you label it, and you label your individual supply curve. Use your hand to trace it out with pencil. Market supply curve. It is a graph which represents the total quantities of a commodity which all producers are willing and able to offer for sale at alternative prices over a period of time. In drawing your market supply curve, use price and the total quantity supplied.
Welcome back, students. From this short break, we shall continue our discussion on market supply curve. We want to draw the diagram on market supply curve. We are going to use the information on market supply schedule table. In drawing that, we are going to use our price and total quantity supplied. Get your pencil and your ruler. We want to do it together. Draw your vertical and your horizontal axis and label. Your vertical is your price. Your horizontal is your quantity supplied. From that table, our prices will be one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use the following unit. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280. Use of my coordinate point. At price 1, locate it. Use your coordinate point, a star. At price 2, 150, again locate it. Put a star, which is your coordinate point. At price 3, Locate it again, put your coordinate point, which is 200, at price 4, locate it again, it's 240, indicate your coordinate point, and price 5 is 280, locate your coordinate point. Now use your hand to trace out the line. On those coordinate points, trace it up, 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 up on the coordinate point until you get to the final price, which is price 5, and unit is 280. Then, at both edge, put SS, which is your supply, and label it as market supply curve. Please note, it's essential for you to use your pencil abnormal supply curve. These are supply patterns. We do not abide by the laws of supply. It implies when prices of goods and services rises, the quantity supplied decreases. Questions that you can practice at home with. Define supply. State the law of supply. Define the following terms. Individual supply schedule, market supply schedule, supply cough, individual supply cough, market supply cough. Use the information to draw individual supply cough and market supply cough. A table on individual supply Price and quantity. My price will be one to five. At price one, 20. At price two, 40. At price three, 50. At price four, 70. At price five, 85. Table on market supply schedule. We are using three sellers, X, Y, Z. Then our prices will be one to five. At price 1, 20, 40, 30. Price 2, 40, 60, 50. Price 3, 60, 80, 60. Price 4, 80, 90, 70. Price 5, 100, 120, 80. I hope you've gotten that. Another question, which is question five, is define abnormal supply curve. References. Waek pass questions. An economic textbook written by Femi Alonge, amplifier and simplifier economics. Internet. To ask any question on the topic that we've just treated, 
you can go into the various platforms created by Lagos State Government, drop your question there and remain blessed.